now we will aspirate near the psis the iliac crest is traced from anterior to posterior and also from above to below here you put your fingers on the paraspinal muscles and then come down and you will feel the iliac crest there and then you anesthetize the tract there here you hit the bone like this i have hit the bone aspirate and inject i will anesthetize the whole tract Now after giving local anesthesia I will bring the bone marrow aspiration needle and again hit the bone here here I have hit the bone and now I will go inside with rotatory movements once I feel a giveaway it means it is in the marrow now I will aspirate now it is a dry tap I moved that needle and checked that it was bent so I straightened it and I inserted it again try to be perpendicular to the iliac crest and avoid breaching the inner table and now I will split again here you can see bone marrow has started coming and make sure you don't take more than 4 ml from one side keep changing the direction of the needle it will increase the quality of the bone marrow aspirate and if you are not able to aspirate from this you can aspirate from asis too but the both the quality and quantity from the asis is poor you can also use bmac to increase the concentration of stem cells but that is a costly affair